Okay, Mark, I'd like to get into some concrete specifics. Let's say I'm a church pastor, which isn't that hard to imagine, and I'm intrigued by this idea of storytelling. How might I take that approach back to my church and begin to implement it? Where would I even start? Um, well, so, so one of the foundations of the story work that I do, I, I work with all different kinds of communities and story, is that every human being hopes for they, they don't maybe not know how to articulate this, but they hope for a good question and a patient ear, you know, a listening ear. And it, you know, it's really a gift when someone asks you, um, what's a place that you found um, beautiful when you were a kid growing up? Or what's the first time, you know, you fell in love with somebody? Or when's a moment when um, someone showed you kindness? or compassion. And all of a sudden you're like, you know, you, you scan your memories, you know, and then you remember, you know, when I was 17 years old, my parents divorced, my dad moved to another town. It was such a mess. And I remember my parents and my best friend saying, Hey, you know, you can stay here whenever you want. And suddenly I was like spending weekends in this home. And it was just like a little place I could get away from the chaos of my family. And I'm just thinking, and I, I haven't even thought of this in 20 years, but boy, that mom who invited me to stay at their house, what a nice woman. I mean, she could really tell I was hurting, you know, and you get to remember all those connections and love and emotions. So for pastors, instead of preaching one, one Sunday, you know, a month, read the, the readings, if that's what you, you know, start, maybe you start with biblical images or stories or whatever, but then find a question that allows people to share stories that, um, that resonate with that same passage. So um, you, you, you might, you know, you, you're reading about the, the, the hemorrhaging woman who reaches out and touches Jesus. And it's like, so we're, we're each going to, I want you to think of a moment where you asked for help. We have a very difficult time asking for help in this culture, but this woman was actually making herself vulnerable and she wanted to get healed. So everybody get in groups of three. Remember a moment when you asked for help and what we'll do is one person will, will share and just the other, I just want the other two to listen. Don't ask questions. Don't comment on what they say. Just listen to it. And then the next person will share and the next person. And then I'm going to bring us all back together. And you just have people turn in the pews if that's what you have or, and you share these stories. Now I've done this many times in churches. It is so rich. I mean, people come out going, you know, some people, I only shared a little tiny story, but then the next person really went deep. And then that remain, made me remember something really deep. And, and then all of a sudden we're in it. And then actually yeah. the pastor's job is super simple because everybody comes out going like, it's really hard to ask for help. You know, I would much rather, you know, suffer in silence and ask for help and all this stuff. Okay, now let's go back to the passage. You know, after we've shared all this yeah. and, it's, and it's beautiful. So, so just asking good questions and creating an environment where people can share it. They will, people will receive it as a gift. I may steal that idea on you, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to write a sermon. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. This is true. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. Thank you.